After a highly successful launch of the main SP Spirit Box app and fantastic communication with Spirit, we have worked closely with Jonathan Garraway to release a free app for all those who wish to conduct their own sessions at no cost. I spoke to Jonathan at the Scottish Paranormal HQ this week about the app, a few tips he had and gathered some crazy initial results when we ran an HQ testing session. Okay, Jonathan, so we're back in the Scottish Paranormal HQ just now and um, we've got a new app out, the mini Spirit Box app for Scottish Paranormal, uh, an automated app. Would you like to tell us a little bit about it? Okay, with the, the uh, mini box app, the one that if you just correctly said is free, the user will notice straight away that once they start the app, it's the same process, the files have to be installed. They're all new files, which has been chopped by yourself, yeah. Ryan, and re obviously reversed also, and, and loaded mm. as normal. But when you start the main screen, you'll notice, the user will notice that they've only got one control element, which is the echo. Everything else runs itself. So you've got the, you've got the, the speed of the engine runs itself. You've got the, um, the volume runs itself. You've also got the order limiter running itself. Yeah. And these can be, be manipulated by spirit. Mm. It gives spirit a chance to look at the device, go inside and try and set it up for themselves. Mm -hmm. They can affect these clocks. Mm -hmm. Obviously the main reason why is because they see things completely different to us. Mm -hmm. So they can see these processes happen mm -hmm. in an energetic form yeah. and then interact with them. The way this reality works, according to consciousness experts such as Tom Campbell, is that randomness assists in communication with the greater reality. Think of order out of chaos and remember, it's subtle. Recommended. Random static is our friend. Spirit controls communication. Reality uncertainty is easily manipulated randomness. This is why ITC techniques work and science knows this. Patience Perseverance and practice is key. People start the app, um, they can control the echo. Um, like you say, everything else is random. Um, there's still, how many files in there altogether, do you, roughly, do you think? Sound bank files? With this new sound bank, there's, let me just do, there's three, four, five. I would say there's just over 6,000. 6,000. Files. Uh, may, so maybe seven, familiar. between seven and eight. It's yeah, that's excellent. And and it's just random. It's just sound bits. Um, obviously, I, I know how it works because I've done it. Um, I actually filmed it as well, and we can maybe look at putting some of that into a video so people can see the process. But like you said, it's reversed. Audiobooks reversed and then split into different sizes, 150 milliseconds, I think, 200 milliseconds, 250, and I think 300 milliseconds. I think that was yeah. roughly... The size, just to give it again that sort of randomness, you know, tiny yeah. little files, bigger files. As Jonathan mentioned, I took the time to create a new batch of sound banks for the SP Mini Spirit Box app. This was so that we could have some fresh banks in this new design, along with my own desire to see if the same names we get would come through. And they did. All bit sounds are ranging from 150 milliseconds to 300 milliseconds, so well under half a second in length. For my mindset, which is to ensure only positive result with no pareidolia or false positives, this process is crucial. We always have to ensure no words are embedded in these devices, so that we can rest in the knowledge that we are communicating with other energies and not fooling ourselves. <laughs> Now, I think you'll probably agree as well. That, I mean, there, there is a chance that some um, things may slip through, like smaller words. Not, not much we can do about that. And would it just be advisable that if people notice 
a certain sound coming through that's like a word all the time, they just take a note of that and they'll be able to discount that themselves as, you know, just a part of the, the sound banks. Yes, that's correct. I, I would say that. You must take into account that when Spirit stops using the app, mm. it's going to go random. Yeah. It will just go, you know, it, it will just play the sounds mm. on a random basis. It will make no sense. Yeah. Then you may hear the formations of words, possibly. Mm. Not saying you will. Yeah. Um, sometimes you'll hear them and you think it sounds like a word, but mm. it's not a word. It's just the way the random just the randomness. Yeah. Difference here is once I use it, which it is, then you'll hear that direct response. So when you are recording with the app, you must take into account that you've got to look at your recordings, your files, and basically alleviate what you don't need. It's exactly the same as a ghost box. Yeah. It's the same process. Um, you will notice also that the speed of the app will change. It will be slow, and then all of a sudden it will, it will just blah, 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 and it, yeah. will, it will blow the audio out. Yeah. This is them sort of manipulating it, trying to change it. Another, another point is you may hear it go blah, 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 blah. Mm. Again, that's another in indication that they are fiddling with this. Can you call your names out, who we have? Yeah. 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 One, one point to always remember is that when we build these apps as a team, it's the intention. That intention, I, I always believe, the energy form of that intention goes into the app. Mm. The same with whatever you build with ITC. And spirits can pick that up. Yeah. They know what's being built for them mm. and not being, not being built for them. And that also attracts them. That makes complete sense. And, uh, and, and I always talk about mindset and intention when you're actually running your sessions as well. Um, I, I always feel, uh, I don't know if you can confirm this as well, but I always feel that if you're in a session and inside your head where you're asking questions, you're saying, this doesn't work, this doesn't work, this is a lot of rubbish, this, this app doesn't work, ITC doesn't work, spirits are not real, you're not going to get anything. No. If there's a spiritual energy there, would they not just stand back and say, what's the point? I'll, I'll give you an example. When we do this, no matter what you say mentally, even if it's not meant, spirit will act on it. Mm. It's, just, it's just the nature of the beast with yeah. spirit. And if you are saying that, well, or even to the point, I'm going to prove this does not work, then it won't work. Yeah. Because whatever you're doing, you're putting blocks up. Yeah. You're literally blocking yourself from spirit, and you're never going to get nothing. Allow spirit to communicate with you. Do not guess using random sounds. Your job is to tell it how it is. Your mindset is key. If you believe this communication does not work, surprise! It will not work for you. They just will not communicate. There is no God-given right here. Open the mind and allow the communication. It's exactly the same with questions. Now, one thing that I was taught as well is to clear your mind. So when you're using, no matter if it's an app or a ghost box, Clear your mind completely. If you're going there, well, I might ask this, I might ask that, I might do this. Spirit's hearing that. Mm. But if you just clear your mind and then go, question. Yeah. Then clear your mind completely. And even if you are using the app at a time and you're a bit unsure, take that second to clear your mind. Yeah. So you disconnect any form of manipulation by your own mental thoughts. Yeah. That makes massive sense. And, and this takes us nicely into <clears throat> when we talk about meditation why why people need to meditate especially people who, who are mediums or um, are trying to do spirit communication not using any equipment they're always being told that you have to clear your mind you have to clear your imagination away you have to you have to enter it with just a clear mind and allow spirit to do the communication not the internal chatter and monkey mind you know continually narrating what works and what doesn't and what I'm going to have for my tea tonight and all this kind of stuff it needs to really 
be stopped. So possibly if you're starting your session on location or in your home or wherever you're doing it, it would be an idea just to sit for five minutes beforehand and just, like you say, clear yeah. your mind. Get yourself in that zone for doing it. Pleasure and tell? Yes. Yes. Don't fucking... Can you tell me what this is, please? Are you going to get this? No. It's fish. We knew. It's. You, you also have to remember the app. And this goes for any ITC app you use. No, not necessarily ours, it could be mm. other people's. Mm. It's not a five minute thing. It takes time mm. and patience to work with them. Yeah. Remember the spirits have to learn how to use it too. Yeah. They're, they, they're not going to just switch it on and go, well, I know how to use this. Yeah. It takes them time. Yeah. So. And we're, and we're, we have great supporters. We have great people within the groups mm -hmm. who support us. And they do get some fantastic captures yeah. with, with the apps. 